Hello everyone, welcome to our special Techno channel. In the previous seasons, we presented you several training content at introductory and intermediate levels. These tutorials enable users to create different types of special web services from various resources. Users can also make styles and share them by having different roles and access rights. In the second season, we talked about OGC standards and explained in detail the functions related to WMS, WFS, WMTS, and WCS. The rest of the season focused on teaching how to create services from common vector and raster formats and a step-by-step -step creation of SLE styles. This time, we aim to provide content for professional shell server users. In the first package, we will start by explaining how to use the demo menu in Joe server and teach the process of making different requests and getting responses from the server. We will also cover topics related to descriptive and geometric filters as well as the editing of features. Finally, we will explore the process of Joe special analysis and guide users in creating and developing web processing services with Joe server. In this session, we will explore the demo menu and its modules. For more information, watch the rest of this video. The demo application is a valuable tool to help you practice with requests. It's used to create and test requests from the Joe server. The user can see the response to the request and solve the problems. To become familiar with the demo section, scroll down and click on the demo link. This page contains these options, demo requests, SRS list, reprojection console, and WCS request builder. If you have installed the WPS extension, you will see an additional option called WPS request builder. Remember that you don't need to be logged into your server to access this page. Demo request. In the previous sessions, you learned that WMS, WFS, and WCS services are standards describing the interaction among clients and servers. Each standard defines a set of operations that, from a client's point of view, are requests. On the OGC side, you can download detailed documents describing each admitted request. This page has examples of WMS, WCS, and WFS requests for Joe server that you can use to examine and change. Let's explore some basic operations. From the drop-down list, you can select a set of prepared requests. They are listed with a syntax declaring the standard as a prefix and a standard version as a suffix. Choose WFS get capabilities 1.1.xml. The request is shown on the screen. Click on the Submit button. A new panel is shown, and after a while, it lists the XML response from your server. Another basic WFS operation is get feature, which will retrieve a feature for you. Select WFS get feature 1.0.xml. If you look at the XML code, you can see a clear reference to the top colored states layer, which is included in the sample set. Click on the submit button. The code is a GML representation of the features with FID equal 3 as requested in the filter. Modify the output format and feature ID by inserting the application slash JSON and states dot to any three values respectively. Click on the submit button again. When the panel shows the result, scroll down until you see the state on the line name field. Which state did you select? Yes, it's Florida. Also, you can use other output formats such as ShapeZip and CSV. The demo request interface lets you select sample requests and modify them to perform testing on your server. When in doubt about a specific operation, this application should be the first point where you go to debug. From here, you can concentrate on the request syntax, avoiding network issues or other problems that you may have experienced with an external client. SRS list. Joe server natively supports almost 4000 special referencing systems or SRS, also known as projections, and more can be added. 
A special reference system defines an ellipsoid, a datum using that ellipsoid, and either a geocentric, geographic, or projection coordinate system. The code column refers to the unique integer identifier of that special reference system. Each code is linked to a more detailed description page accessed by clicking on that code. Now let's filter the projection list. There are 6,772 items on the list as you see on the screen. In the search text box, type in the project code for the basic projection 4326 or WGS84, then click on Enter. Click on the projection code to show the projection details that include a short text description of the SRS. An EPSG or internal description of the SRS provides an overview of how each projection is defined. It includes several parameters formatted in the WKT format. And the map showing you the area of validity or bounding box for the SRS. For 4326, it's a planet surface. Repeat this step to review another code 32633, which is the WGS84 UTM Zoom 33N. Please consider the area of validity and the countries eligible to use this SRS. If you are enjoying the video, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share it with your friends. This will help you and others to improve your skills and benefit from these valuable resources. Thanks for your support. Reprojection Console The Reprojection Console allows you to calculate and quickly test coordinate transformation. You can use it to convert a single coordinate or WKT geometry and transform it from one CRS to another. In this recipe, you will discover a simple yet very useful tool that ships with Joe Server. It lets you have a look at how coordinates change when you move data from one CRS to another. From the list, select the Reprojection Console. A new interface is displayed. Insert EPSG column 4326 in the source CRS field and EPSG column 32632 in the target CRS field. Then enter the coordinates of the point in the geometry of sources CRS field similar to what you see on the screen. In this example, we use the coordinates of the San Siro Stadium in Milan. Click on the forward transformation link. GeoServer calculates the new coordinates for you and fills the geometry of target CRS text box. Use forward transformation to convert from source CRS to target CRS and backward transformation to convert from target CRS to source CRS. You can also view the underlying calculation your server is using to perform the transformation. WCS Request Builder The WCS Request Builder is a tool for generating and executing WCS requests. Since WCS requests can be cumbersome to utter, this tool can make working with WCS much easier. Select WCS Request Builder from the list of demos. The WCS Request Builder consists of a form which can be used to generate a number of different types of requests. When first open, the form is short, only including these options. WCS version. Version of WCS to use when crafting the request. Options are 100 and 111. Coverage name. Coverage to use in the request. Any published raster layer in GeoServer can be selected. Remember that all other options displayed will be non-functional until coverage name is selected. Once selected, the reminder of the form will be displayed. You can see these options on the screen. A special subset. It sets the extent of the get coverage request in units of the layer CRS. Defaults to the full extent of the layer. Coordinate reference system. Source CRS of the layer. Default is the CRS of the layer in Joe server. A specified source grid manually. 100 only. If checked, allows for determining the grid of pixels for the output. Target coverage layout. 111 only. It specifies how the dimensions of the output grid will be determined. 
It includes automatic target layout. It sets that the output grid will be determined automatically. A specified grid resolutions. It sets the resolution of the output grid X and Y resolution can be set differently. A specified grid to word transformation. It sets the output using latitude and longitude as well as X and Y scale and shear values. Target CRS. CRS of the result of the get coverage request. If different from the coordinate reference system, the result will be a reprojection into the target CRS. Output format. Format of the result of the get coverage request. Any valid WCS output format is allowed. The default is Jotif. There is also a link for describe coverage next to the coverage name, which will execute the WCS describe coverage request for the particular layer. At the bottom of the form are two buttons for form submission. Get coverage. It executes a get coverage request using the parameters in the form. This will usually result in a file which can be downloaded. Generate get coverage XML. Clicking this button generates the get coverage request based on the form parameters. In other words, instead of executing the request, it directly displays the XML request on the screen. By using this generated XML code, you can easily construct and customize your get coverage request with various parameters and making it easier to retrieve the desired coverage data from Joe server. WPS Request Builder Joe server with the WPS extension installed includes a request builder for generating and executing WPS processes. Using this tool can greatly simplify the process of authoring WPS requests and making your work with WPS much more convenient and efficient. It's always nice to have a sustaining task that can be complex or time-consuming. This tool can be valuable asset in your WPS workflow. In future sessions, we will dive deep into the web processing service or WPS and explore its functionalities and how to use different functions in detail. So get ready to expand your knowledge and learn how to leverage the power of WPS for your special analysis needs. In this session, we have explored the demo menu and its modules in detail. If you would like to gain proficiency in show server software from beginner to advanced without any cost, please subscribe to my channel, watch the videos and share them with your friends. Also, if you would like to know more information about the show server intermediate level, we recommend you to watch the suggested playlist. Have a good time!